Okay, so this is the street that my hotel is on. It's just north of one of the main uh, streets in Patong, which is uh, probably about a three minute walk from the Jung Salon Mall. So I'm actually staying at a place called the Expat Hotel. So this is actually looking out to the main, the main road there. And if I turn around, you'll see at the end of the hall, right down there, that's the Expat Hotel. So where we're at right now, there's a couple of bars at the end of the street and then also all these restaurants. So like this restaurant right here, I have no idea what it says. Uh, I eat there quite often. It's actually pretty good food for, for about uh, 90 baht, so about three US dollars. Uh, you're generally gonna have a pretty wide selection of all sorts of food. Sorry, they got some construction going on here. So that's all the food that we got here. Anywhere from 80 to about 120 baht, depending. So over here to the left is actually, it's a big parking, motorbike parking and car park area. I think, I think you pay about 20 baht and uh, you can park your motorbike here. So um, parking is kind of at a premium in Patong. So a lot of folks like to just park here. You'll see motorbikes everywhere though. It's actually, it's ridiculous how many motorbikes there are. Uh, and they're just crammed all over the place. So it's good that they have a place like this, but a lot of people still fight to try to, you know, park as, park in front of wherever they want to go. So it looks like it's 20 baht for a motorbike, so it's about 80 cents to park, uh, and 60 baht for a car, so about two bucks, so that's not too bad. So obviously right ahead here, you can kind of see uh, Expat Hotel. Uh, reception is straight ahead in that direction. Over here, they got the bar area, uh, right there. So we'll walk over this way. So there's always a, usually a pretty steady stream of folks here. It's, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning right now. I just actually went to another bar uh, to uh, watch an American football game. Uh, we actually went over to Aussie Bar down on Bangla Road. So I kind of see a pretty nice little place here. Uh, decent bar prices, uh, good specials. This is about 98% of the people that stay here are uh, expats, um, mostly Australia, UK. You don't see too many Americans. Uh, so here we go. So this side over here, so here, here you got the pool area, uh, and I'll show you a better view from once I get upstairs. And then you can kind of see over here to the right, this is a, uh, this is the restaurant, on-site restaurant at the hotel. So we'll head up the stairs here. Into, I'm up on the second floor this time. Uh, each room has, uh, you get two bottles of water free every day. It's nice. Some of the rooms, uh, you need to stick your key in, the, in, the, in a, um, a little holder to activate all of the electricity in the room. Um, the last time I stayed here, I did. This time I do not. So it's nice. You can actually set your AC and let it go and stay cool. So when you get back, it's pretty nice. So here's, here's a view of the pool area. Um, it's kind of low season right now, so it's not very busy. It's probably half occupied right now. So you kind of see the roof and there's a big, the Royal Paradise Hotel and Spa. That's one of the biggest hotels. And then you got, so it's just, just a little, a little, uh, boutique hotel kind of nestled right in the middle of Patong. Right over in this area over here, is a uh, on-site mas massage store so you go in there and get yourself uh, you know a time massage oil massage foot massage head neck massage whatever pretty decent prices they actually have a special going because it's low season so they're they knocked about 50 baht off the price of uh, most of the uh, massages so okay so we'll take you into the room here an old school key and they haven't made the room up yet, but still got the AC going, which is nice. Okay, swap the glasses. So this is it. Nothing too exciting. Uh, your room, a little mini bar. I got a fridge. I uh, had a couple of Heinekens last night. Of course, I've already settled in with. Here's all my dive gear, or at least my dive mask and computer and stuff. Uh, bed looks like it's it's kind of a hard bed. I think they actually it feels. 
It feels like the mattress is more of a box spring, uh, unfortunately, so it's not the most comfortable bed in the world. But this place is pretty cheap. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm about 20 bucks a night, so really, you can complain, but you know, your uh, your complaints aren't going to go too far. Little uh, little closet area, nothing too fancy. Just got your you know enough to put a few things in there. And of course, every pretty much every place in Patong, all the hotels in Patong have uh, have little uh, safes. You just program in a four-digit code, and uh, you can lock up your stuff. Uh, again, what's kind of nice here is uh, you don't have to put your key into a little slot, um, you know, to activate the electricity, so you can get your stuff charged and keep it charging throughout the day. Turn on the light in the bathroom. So this is a uh, kind of fully contained everything. Uh, it's kind of a wet bathroom. Everything you need here, uh, fan, toilets, uh, another butt gun. Here's the uh, the shower side right here. You got a little electric water heater. So you just uh, just hit the power button, push this thing on, and then it turns on the. Uh, you see the Lego on there, and then this is your temperature gauge right there. It's pretty much uh, instant hot water. Uh, if I can turn it off, oh, I don't know, maybe it's going to stay off for a There you go, I just got a little more muscle into it. So that's pretty much the extent. Um, TV, it's got about 50 channels. Uh, there's a fair number of English channels, but um, it's, not, it's not American channels, it's just English, so a lot of different programming and stuff. So. So that's uh, that's about it. So this is uh, this is a quick look at the Expat Hotel. Uh, again, this is uh, just a little bit north of uh, Soy Sansabai, which is also just a little bit north of uh, Jungsalon Mall. So you're um, you're kind of right in the heart of Patong. So it's a good place. It's one street away from the noise. So yeah, you do get a little bit of noise um, in the evening, but it's not nearly as bad as if you're if, as if you were actually on Soy Sansabai. Uh, so definitely recommend here if you want it to be just a little bit quieter. On-site bar is good. On-site restaurant is good. On-site massage studio is good as well. So it's really got everything you need. So hopefully that helps uh, uh, explain kind of what's going on and, you know, the expat hotel and where I'm staying. So hope you guys are all well, and I will talk to you later. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.